Hello everyone, I'm Valentin from Game Trading Bulgaria and today I'm going to share with you yet another one of my free trading advices. As some of you may already saw, the markets are very close to all-time high and in such situations a lot of people are scared because they don't know what exactly to do. So that's why today I decided to talk with you some basic trading rules which will help you to develop your trade management and your trades in such situations. So, normally a lot of people will look for short position because the all-time high level is actually a resistance level. Of course this is possible and the trade and the actual trade management are not different than any other short positions that you take. However, you have to be very careful with choosing your entry point because usually the all-time highs are coming after a very strong uptrend. In this case, if you're going short, you're playing trend contrarian which always is carrying more risk than to go with the trend. That's why when you're opening a position, you have to wait for a proper confirmation that the price will drop. As you can see from the example here, the price was rising, as soon as it reaches the all-time high, it continues on the long side, then it make a test on the support level, which was the previous resistance, the all-time level actually, and then it continues up. It takes quite a lot of time till the price actually started to drop, as you can see here. On the other side of the coin is to buy on a long time high and to hold a long trend into the unknown. The most often question which I hear when people ask me how to trade on all time high is to how to determine their target. In the most cases you can just uh, check where is the next rounding number, where the price will reach a psychological resistance level and to place your target there because for sure the price will react. And if you see that the buying pressure is exhausted then you can collect your profit and wait for new opportunities. No matter if you're playing long on all time high or short, the stop losses, the levels actually for the stop losses are determined in the same way and any other position. As you can see on the graph, if you're playing short here, you can determine your stop loss to be somewhere above these highs and if you're playing long here, you can determine your stop loss to be somewhere below these lows here. And as I already said, you have to look very carefully for the price action and immediately when you sense a change in tweet to take actions to collect your profit immediately. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope you liked this video and I hope it was useful for you. If you want to see more of our free videos and all the content we are posting, you can follow us in our YouTube channel and click the little bell because in this way you're going to be notified immediately when we post a new video. Thank you very much for your attention again. Bye bye and see you again next time.